to seventh class. It's week six, and we are having our sixth day of week six, and we are carrying the same uh, lesson that is lesson number one, and in the earthquake and the volcanoes. Dear students, we have got all the concepts regarding all the topics. Now this is time to discuss what sort of the assignment work you need to do it uh, is this week. So let me clear one thing before the discussion of the assignment work that most of the work is dependent on the comprehension and the reading in geography, and there is no requirement or submission of assignments from week four to eight. You need to just maintain a, raw, a small notepad uh, and a booklet, prepare glossary, and keep a record of the research work. So, dear students, what things you are things you have to do in this week? You have to go to read the page number sixteen. That is about the volcanism at hot spots, which uh, I have also provided uh, yesterday a video. And uh, you have to go through to the frequency of volcanic eruption at the page number sixteen as well. The distribution of the volcanoes around the world. that is mentioned on the page number 16 you have to read the pictures you have to uh, go through the titles and you have to highlight all the important points throughout the pages you have to prepare a booklet that is uh, based on the difficult words and you have to maintain a small notepad and all the work that you will do with you will have to keep it with you there is no need to submit the assignments to the teachers you may take the guide you may ask the question where you find any difficulty but there is no work to submit so after the discussion of the this thing so i have a very interesting video as usual which i am keeping throughout the week so this is about the volcanic eruption ahoy let's think today we answer the question how do volcanoes erupt to understand how a volcano erupts we'll first need to take a look at the structure of the earth Earth has different layers, which include the inner and outer core, the mantle, and the crust. We'll focus on the mantle and crust, as this is where all volcanic action takes place. The crust is the outermost layer, as well as the thinnest layer on Earth. Right below the crust is the mantle, where temperatures can reach up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Due to the high temperatures and the increasing pressure in the mantle, rocks can melt to form molten rock or magma. Magma has less density than the rocks of. And materials with less density will usually float or rise above higher density items. The magma will try to float to the top and seek out cracks and spaces to go into, which can form magma chambers. With the right conditions, such as extreme pressure, changing heat, and tectonic activity, the magma can rise through the magma chamber and erupt through the Earth's crust, causing a volcanic explosion. The magma we see flowing on the surface is lava, and as the lava cools, it forms a volcano. Just like there are different sizes and shapes of volcanoes, there is also different types of volcanic eruptions, such as Hawaiian eruptions, which occur when lava shoots into the air in jets through a vent. The jets can last for as long as days and is known as fire fountaining. Probably the most dangerous eruption is the Pliny eruption, which is the largest and most violent. This eruption releases an incredible amount of energy and can cause an eruption of gas and ash that can reach up to 50 kilometers or 35 miles high. The most well-known Plinian eruption is that of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Regardless of the type of eruption, it's best to be as far away from one as you possibly can. So that answers how do volcanoes erupt? That took some thinking. <laughs>